Alright, welcome back to part 2 of the Intermission DLC. So last off we left with um, pretty much just doing all the stuff in like the Sector 7 slums. Uh, we skipped all the side quests and all that stuff. So we're still chasing after Zegia. <laughs> Basically through this ruined factor factory or whatever. Not too sure what this is. Like a garbage dump or something. <laughs> yeah, so with this you'll kind of notice that we're doing a lot of climbing and ninja stuff. Yeah, not too much to say about all this. You just kind of... I realized when I came down here, I was like, oops. Yeah, don't do what I did. did. <laughs> don't do what I did here. Make sure when you hit that switch, you want to hit the other one. Down there. There's a lot of extra stuff you can get here. I'm, I'm typically just kind of streamlining it, just hit, uh, quickly going through it. Since this is on hard mode, and I have pretty much all the materia I'm going to need. I think the only ones I can pick up are basically just like copies of green materials that you can just kind of buy at shops. Oh no, a wrath hound. I was like, no, you're not doing the throat chomp here, buddy. I probably should have used Sonin's ability, his first ability, because his first ability does a lot of, a lot of pressure damage or stagger damage. When you got the pressure gauge up, you can use that ability and it'll build up the meter pretty fast. Yuffie doesn't really have that. But it's okay though. Yeah, so you can see his moves like Swirling Storm is his damage ability when you when you got the stagger. Do that, he'll do a lot more damage. And then I think Twirling Storm I saw there, that's the one where you'll get the uh, stagger damage. Then he's got Fighting Spirit, where it it allows him to focus on an enemy. I think that's what it does, at least that's what I remember it saying that. And then his last ability, you can use it for tanking. Sonin has got some useful abilities to kind of really help Yuffie out. Because Yuffie's kind of like a hybrid, I'd say like physical and mage. But she's really good for like a mage type abilities because her ninjutsus where she can basically imbue her weapons with the three elements, lightning, fire, and ice. Which is really useful for getting that elemental damage. And yeah, it's our favorite Wayward Wolves. Yeah, usually typically when I'm just exploring on hard mode, like when I'm just going through the the regular dungeons or whatever I'm I'm pretty stingy with my heals I heal like only when I have to because you usually see me just running around with like 3,000 HP or whatever you know just or like how I am now 2,000 HP <laughs> it's like a one good hit could really kill me but eh, you know I always try to save that MP for the boss fights on hard mode. On normal mode, obviously, you don't have to worry about it.
just really good people, huh? And that's the problem. Midgar doesn't need good people. <laughs> Not that we care what happens to us. Oh, like that, Sonnen's over there talking about how they should have teamed up with Baron and all them. <laughs> the people that they got were a little bit too nice. Good people. Almost like foreshadowing for later on when Yuffie... Spoiler! Or meets the party. <laughs> Becomes a playable character when she meets up with Cloud and all them. Well, she's a playable character now, but when she actually like teams up with them. Yeah, so you can notice that there was like some materia and stuff you can grab over there. There's some extra stuff. Don't really need to worry about that. Try to open up my uh, menu. like, oh no, I wanted to change the materials. Maybe I might have his weakness or whatever. <laughs> Maybe I can get his weakness. And then I realized, I was like, Yuffie's literally hanging on by a thread. So, this did cure, cure a go, actually. I really should have just had Chakra on her, because like, for hard mode, Chakra and Prey and stuff are like some really good options for healing, so you can save your MP. Well, it's kind of funny as I'm watching this back, recording the commentary for it, I'm realizing that as I'm playing this, I'm still kind of learning. It, it feels like I'm still kind of re like remembering what was good with Yuffie and, and Sonin, <laughs> like the best way to do damage and stuff. I guess this could be considered a mini game. It's like just basically you just ride this conveyor belt and you can just hit these boxes, which will give you items, even though I won't really need them. Cause you can't use them. Can't use them. But I think there's a trophy for this. I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember the requirements for it. <laughs> I've really only played uh, the D played through this DLC like twice. I did it once, and then I went through it again on hard mode to basically get the trophies for it. This is like my third time going through it. So, definitely kind of don't remember every single thing. <laughs> Got like four high potions right there. More high potions. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this is there for like the upcoming boss fight that's about to happen here pretty soon. Because they're like trying to give you like a bunch of items for it.
most of those boxes just fell out. Wow, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> most of them just fell out. Uh, I was like trying to squeeze it in, I don't even know why. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, there's definitely a trophy for that one. I just don't remember what the requirements are. Eh, not that far away, so might as well grab that. <laughs> oh, healing materia, which don't really need. I don't even think I have all of my materia leveled up on this file. So, like, I could eke more out on my HP ups and stuff. A weird way Yuffie runs. <laughs> Alright, so we get here on this bench. I'm about to do uh, some materia preparation for the next boss fight. I will cut that out because it doesn't even really need to be shown. <laughs> so when I come back, I will obviously I'll show you kind of like the rundown of what we did. So yeah, we'll scroll here. Wow, I did that through pretty fast. Yeah, it's literally eight. Wow, I went. <laughs> I did that pretty fast. Lightning, magnify, HP ups, healing materials. Got barrier for that. First strikes, MP ups, and stuff. So, kind of what it was was that um, I wanted Sonin to have lightning, so I gave him magnify. Because this this boss will drop some drones in the second phase, and you can use the lightning magnify to hit all of them. I don't know if it actually works when I attempt it, so we'll see. It. Who gave you that information? Oh, his name was something like Heidegger. Wrong answer. I'm gonna ask you again. All right, all right. I'll tell you. It was Rufus. You don't say. <laughs> or was it Ojo? Ready to do this, boss? Born ready. Great. I'll draw their attention. You grab our guy. A diversion, huh? I like it. <laughs> but don't forget, I'm the leading lady. <laughs> hey, you! Evil to it! Over here! What the hell? Who's there? Never mind, it's just some kid. Right? <laughs> hey, who are you calling a kid? <laughs> Award winning performance, boss. <laughs> who are you, anyway? The Giants! Got eyes on hostiles, requesting backup. Thank you. 
I don't know how that thing remained hidden. <laughs> it was just hanging up on the ceiling. How nobody even even noticed it was just chilling there. So mainly I think you want to go for the tail. Although when I was doing it, it felt like I was doing more damage when I was hitting the head. Yeah, so you'll want to give you give uh, Yuffie the lightning ninja too, so it abuse her weapon with basically lightning. You'll be able to yeah. See, you can see it was like doing reduced damage to the tail. So I don't necessarily think you need to go for the tail. I think just go for the head. The tail is kind of the safe bet because I think the only attack you really have to worry about is the little tail sweep that he does. I think the head it's like a lot more dangerous or something. Yeah, so I tried synchronizing here. I was just getting immune. Like I imagine, I probably could have gone through this phase a lot quicker if I just went for the head. Yeah. Oh yeah, and <laughs> then I thought I was gonna get poisoned there because like the. It wouldn't let me clip through the boss, so it was like pushing me into the pool, so I was like, I'm gonna get poisoned. But then I realized that like, Yuffie has the ribbon on, so she's like immune to status effects. Yeah, so now we have it pressured. I think maybe you need to go for the tail to get it pressured. Maybe? No, I'm pretty sure you can go for the head. For some reason I was getting immune, so I have no idea. <laughs> like, I don't know the ins and outs of this whole boss, I just know that the boss is like weak to lightning. Go for the tail and the head. And then at some point, I know at some point during this fight, I start seeing more damage, so I'm literally like, so I'll change my entire targeting strategy. I'll like, fuck the tail, go right for the head. That's why I keep saying it. <laughs> Cause yeah, I, I, if you just saw Sonan over there hitting, he was getting like, yeah, he was getting the weakness and then the crits. Now I just realized I'm like, oh wait, huh? We're like, hit this fucker in the head. Unless, yeah, you can't hit him in the head with thunder. That's why you go for the tail. So you would hit thunder at the tail. I think I'm starting to catch up while I'm, <laughs> while I'm doing the commentary for this. Yeah, so as I said, this fight could have been a hell of a lot quicker. Or at least through this phase. Damn, someone got smacked. Yeah, it's like physical damage worked on the head, then magic worked on the tail, I guess. Because I think it might just be like the specific armor on it or something. But yeah, mainly build up the stagger gauge, and once you do that, you can do tons and tons of damage. Yeah, I was hoping I'd have more of the. Brummel or banishment. Is that what it does? Big damage. Yeah, now it's gonna go to the second phase of the fight when he goes down. I don't know why I was not healing during this. I could have healed Sonin. So it's just standing there. <laughs> I had plenty of time. Plenty of ATB. So yeah, this is where it summons the drones and I'm trying to... So... Yeah, I think during this I'll try to... Then, oh yeah, I tried to hit him with lightning and then realized that they had a magical barrier over them. So I was like, ah, well... Or I think it was like reflect that might be reflect or it might be a magical barrier so you want to take care of these drones fast because the boss is going to sit up there and do what he's doing to me right now and nuke you with missiles so, 
I was like trying to cast thunder on them, but it yeah, they apparently summoned their magic barrier, so just put uh just have your lightning on Yuffie's shuriken and it should do a lot of damage. Now he's coming back to the stage. What a cool way to do it though. <laughs> yeah, so this is ex this is almost why they give Ra uh, Ramu to you early, is basically for this fight. So I would highly recommend getting that summon, even though I did say that I was skipping it, but I did say in the episode you should probably go do it. But do it when you have Sonin on your team. Hopefully it's not too late. <laughs> Oh, Yuffie's got a limit break. Yeah, I I really think they, uh, in order to do the max damage to his tail, you need to hit it with actual spells. It was like the head's weak to physical, the tail be weak to magic. Uh, see, we'll build. Trying to build up that. This is moving into the third phase. Now his face has turned into a drill. <laughs> Which you'll do like so much damage to the head. And yes, he does summon more drones. Yeah, and they just came out with like... Huh. Yeah, my memory of this is just weird. Like, this fight's not that even hard, so even with my limited knowledge with this... <laughs> it's still a relatively easy fight. Romu's about to do a lot of damage with this attack. It was like about 6,000 almost. It's almost dead. Easy. Just straight up ignore the drones. Or I think I just bypassed it. No, he's still summoning the drones. I have no idea why I didn't go into like synergy or whatever. If I could have synergized, you can build up your pressure gauge. That's also another way to do it. Oh my, screw it. He's dead. Use the limit break. Yeah, I feel like that could have been a way a much, much better fight, but it is what it is. You see that? <laughs> that ninja's do it. Yep. Nice work. You saved my ass. Well, it did earn you these. Huh? Employee ID cards. They'll get you into the Shinra building. And pretty much any floor, <laughs> basement included. That's where advanced weaponry's got their lab set up. And where they conduct their materia research. If what you're looking for is anywhere in that place, it's gonna be there. Got it. You guys should probably get moving. Word is, Shinra's got something big lined up for us. Nothing less than the destruction of Sector 7. <laughs> But whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. Right. I'm gonna go report to the others. Good luck up there. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, I'm by. I'll show you how Wu Tain's really party. <laughs> Deal. About Sector 7, I mean. I won't. Well, boss, sounds like we better get going. Let's head up as soon as you're ready. Ready! <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, that line. I, I can't believe I didn't notice that before when she tells she tells ZJ to tell the splinter cell about the plate. So obviously that's how Barrett and them found out. Just 
think this is where those bastards plotted their attacks? Right under our noses. Too bad they made it out before the military could get here. Like chickens flying the coop. Probably best if we don't stick around. Let's catch the train. Yeah, I do. Th I think this is like your last chance to basically do everything in this chapter, the first chapter, because you won't be coming at back here once you do the train. Like play uh, Fort Condor with all the with all the players, and then do the fight with Ramu to get the summon. So basically, anything you wanted to do, this is like your last chance to do it. So yeah, if you haven't before, and you want to get all that done, I would do it now. The freaking Roche. We can worry about that once we have boss. Now they're saying we time for that. Well we're not worried about that, so we're gonna head right to the train. And then once we hit the train, it'll be a cutscene and it'll basically end the chapter. Boss, I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon. So make sure you're ready for anything, okay? Yeah, Sonin basically giving you the uh Let's roll. Last chance, last chance. Uh, what's with all these people? Due to the recent incident at Mako Reactor 5, only a limited number of trains are currently in service. Please note that the Sector 5 Undercity Station is closed until further notice. Thank you. Shh. Splinter Cell's done its best to make things hard for you. Miss this train and there's no telling when the next will be. Looks like it's now or never, guys. Sorry we couldn't give you a proper send-off. Just know that we're rooting for you, okay? got motion sick chocobos boats I'm sure trains would have done it too who is Melfi my sister huh. she trained under your father at the same time as me yet she had such promise Ending. But a Shinra mech went haywire near a crowd. She had to do something. We deserve what's coming to us. All right, and that'll end the chapter. So we'll move on to the Shinra building in chapter two. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.